Hey everybody, Terry Bradley here, 26, 26 Golf Guys. Welcome to the 26 Golf YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how to pitch the ball about 25, 30 yards. Okay, and we're going to use the same 26 process that you've come to know and love on this YouTube channel. Now, let me just make a few markings for you here and show you exactly what I mean. As I'm over the ball, what I want to do is I want to feel like that my sternum is pointing a little bit in front of the ball. Now, that happens simply because my my trail hand is ripped lower on the uh, club handle, okay? And so now I've got a nice centered posture, again, with my sternum a little bit in front of the ball, and my head, okay, is, is back, and I'm going to keep my head back as I hit through the ball, okay? So I've got a, a nice posture. I've got a slight knee bend here. My knees are slightly bent there, okay, right here, slightly bent. And now I feel really, really athletic, okay? And if I didn't mention this, I also have a slight pinch my knee is my rear knee is just slightly pinched in to just give me that nice relaxed athletic feel okay so when I do that I'm able to do what I'm able to take the club away notice how I create my space on the plane create my space on the plane I extend my arms you see how my body stays home you see how when my arms go back that my body stays home my body is resisting me moving back with my club and now I can get a full arm extension okay out away from my body out on the plane now notice how when I pass through through uh, parallel notice how I keep my width so before I get to parallel I, I maintain space off the ball maintain space as I get past parallel I start to create width now when I get to the top you see how now my wrist have fully hinged for this 25 to 30 yard 30 yard shot so when my, my wrist moved to the top of the backswing in a chip my wrist fully hinge so if you didn't know that I created width and space, you would have thought I would have manipulated this, okay? But I didn't, because it, what it did, what it did was it derived, it derived from space and width as I get to the top. And now, as I get to the top, as I stay what? As I stay centered, okay? My body is still centered here, and now my arms can drop where? Now my arms can drop straight down and hit through the ball, okay? Very very easy when you when you stay centered. So now when I come down, I come down, I hit through the ball, head stays back, and now my my arms can release the energy through the ball from my center. Because again, if I stay centered, all my energy is right here in the center, and everything's ready to drop as my head stays back. So I can really control this 30-yard shot, okay, without a lot of body movement, without without a lot of, without a lot of lower body movement, I have a lot more control hitting through the ball and just making sure I control the loft okay of my club as I hit down again as I hit down through my target as my head stays back and then I come up okay to my follow through okay so that's how it works now for more videos click the link below put your name and email address in the box below I'll send you more videos in fact I will link you up to my free webinar if you haven't seen it already my free webinar that really really highlights everything that's going on now it's only free up until the spring and then I'm gonna lock it down behind the email the email list uh, but now uh, you'll be able to just watch that for free, okay, and um, you guys can get going and saying golf is fun again. Okay, so just click the link, watch the webinar. Again, if you watch these videos another week or two from now, you just have to submit your email address, and I'll send you more videos besides the webinar. Okay, see you on the inside.